good. The most important part of playing great pool is to be able to hit this ball precisely, this cue ball. Because if you can't hit it precisely, you're not going to be able to control the object ball, especially on tables that are this demanding. This table has four inch pockets. You can see that, uh, you know, two balls won't even come close to uh, going through to the pocket. So one of the uh, road player mentors that I had was a man named Dalton Leone, and I've talked a great deal about him. He was my Asian mentor. He got me into uh, the book Zen and the Art of Archery. He was a Tai Chi master. He was a uh, actor from uh, San Francisco that had a great influence on my life. And one of the things that he insisted I do is what he called find my center. And what he talked about was how important the perspective is to playing great pool. So finding the center, when you're getting down on a shot, most people will tend to stand too far to the left if they're right-handed so that their hip is on the line of the shot, but their eyes aren't on the line of the shot. That is not their center. That's their side. And then when they go down, they get fine. And, uh, you know, they do the best they can. But... What I do as far as being centered is I go up to every shot like I'm looking at it just like I'm looking at you, right out of the center of my vision. Because the best way to not only see something, but connect to something or someone is facing them. Like if we're having a conversation, I want to face you. You know that if I start turning away and looking at other things that you don't have my undivided attention. And the reason I make that point is these pool balls and this game once you're undivided attention when you're shooting. So you need to find your center. The center is the center of your chest, center of your belt buckle, center of your eyes. That is your center. So when I go up to a shot, I'm looking right out of my center. I step, push back, go right down. So I'm shooting right out of the center of my vision. Now, this is not as easy to do as it is to say, and it took me some time to be able to figure this out, especially to be able to teach it at a high level. But now that I see Feder Gorst and a lot of these younger players, especially the European players, they're starting to do what I did to find my center and how I teach it. So I want to go through this with you so that you can, you know, maximize your game and learn to find your center on your own. So how this works is, if you want to shoot right out of the center of your chest, if I go right against this table with my feet shoulder width apart, and I just put the stick right in front of me, it's always good if you're having trouble with something to exaggerate it, to find a way to exaggerate it. So that's what I'm doing here is I'm pushing it out like I'm water skiing almost. So that the tip is right at my eye level, a little bit of an angle going down, but you can see that's my exact center. Just like I was shooting a pistol, throwing a dart, shooting a basketball, pitching a coin, everything goes out of your center. This is the center. The only problem is, and it's a big problem, is if I'm going down on a pool shot, I can't because my body's in the way. But watch what happens when I take this right foot and bring it, I'm bringing it back and around so that my uh, ankle bone is right on the line that my chest is on. So watch how this works. I'm going to put this right in the center. I'm stepping back. Now watch what happens. You see how my hip gets out of the way now? So I can go up to this shot, put this in front of me, and go straight down on it. You'll see, as I said before, Federer Gorst does a version of this. Whenever he's getting ready to go down, you'll see him put his hands in front of him and the stick up. Then when he comes down, he pushes the right arm out, right hand out, and then brings the right one back. So the left one, excuse me, the left one out, and the right one back. And he gets down lower than I do, but he's keeping right on the center. So he's like this. That puts everything in the right position. Your shoulder, your elbow, your hand and wrist is all on the line perfectly. Because nobody that maximizes this, it doesn't matter what your body shape is, 
If you put this in front of you and take it straight back, it'll put you in the exact perfect position. That's what I have to do when I get out of line. And uh, I used to play smaller tournaments in the Dallas area, and I'd always get there a little bit late, you know, right before the tournament would start. And uh, I usually had to give up handicaps, but I wouldn't warm up. What I would do is I would get up and maybe have a chance to hit like three balls. So what I would do is I would just put three balls out. And then I would go up and I would extend this in front of me. See how my hands are touching? And then bring it straight back and go down. And I would shoot three or four shots like this. Because it's putting me in the perfect position. <laughs> I still miss them. But uh, this is a great uh, exercise for you to do to get better and better at this game. Because you can like play the ghost with yourself, you know, start out playing like six ball ghost and every shot go up to it. If you want to find your perfect distance from the ball, wherever you hold the cue, if you put it in the front of your right hip, it'll go right to the back of the ball. And you'll notice if I'm doing that, the stick will always be pointing to the left because my hip line is here. My center line is here. That's the one I want to be on with my chest and my eyes. And my left foot is over here. So if it was a highway, this would be the left side. This is the center. My right hip is the right side. Now watch what happens when I step and push my hips back. That's when everything goes together. So what most people do is they try to get their hip on the line first and their eyes second. What I do is I get my chest and eyes on the line. I don't worry about my hip because when I step and push back, it automatically clears out of the way so that I can uh, shoot out of the center of my chest. I get that sensation like I'm visually shooting out of the center of my chest. It gives me not only the best perception of the ball because it is my center, but also I get a connection to the game and to each shot so I can feel it hit different parts of the pocket. And if you're going to play at a high level, the game is more feel and touch when you get to a championship level. You won't hear about players talk about how great their eyesight was when they won a tournament. It'll be more like their feel for the pocket, their instinct, their touch. You know, they'll talk about uh, their game in those terms because, you know, ultimately you want to become part of the game. Like in Zen and the Art of Archery, the hitter and target become one. If you want to know more about my techniques, fundamentals, and systems, check me out at masteringpocketbears.com, and please like, share, and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'm going to bring you some really strong stuff coming up about aiming, how to get more power out of your stroke, and more tips on alignment and footwork, because that is the foundation of your game. Till next time, this is CJ. Remember, the game is the teacher.